Welcome to Basket of Tales, a time travel into the world of stories. Hello everyone, Miss S is back with another interesting story from the tales of Vikram and Betal. Well, this is the 25th story from the series and also the last one. Like you know, every time the king opened his mouth to answer Betal's riddle, Betal would flew back onto the tree. The king had to go back to the tree and start the ordeal of bringing him down all over again. And as you know, this happened 24 times. But the 25th time, the king smartly handled the situation and he did not answer Betal's question. So these 25 stories are very very famous in the Indian literature and are popularly known as Vikram and Betal tales. So let's begin the 25th story which is called Tangled Relationships. This is a story of a king who was known for his powers and bravery. A day came when he had to fight a war. He, along with his son, headed the army, but unfortunately, they lose the battle and get killed in the war. The queen and the princess are left behind with no power and money and are thrown out of the palace and they don't have any place to go. They both decide to live under a tree in a nearby forest. The same day, a father and son happen to pass by the forest and they see some footprints along their way. The father says, These footprints seem to be of some woman. Let's follow and see. And son, I would like you to marry one of them, says the father. The son agrees and says, As you say, father, but I will marry the girl whose footprints are smaller because I am guessing she should be the youngest. When they finally reach the spot, they find two women sitting in a very dire state. The father says, I think their condition is very bad. They feel pity and decide to take them along. As per the son's commitment, he gets married to the woman whose footprints were smaller than the other. And apparently, those smaller footprints turn out to be the queen's. On the other hand, the father marries the other woman, who is the queen's daughter, the princess. And so it happened that the son married the queen and the father married the princess. Now Betal pauses here and asks Vikram to answer the story riddle. He asks, What do you think about the tangled relationships between the mother and the daughter, father and the son? Vikram keeps quiet and decides not to answer. Betal understands his silence. The reason why Vikram decides to keep quiet is because what had happened was not correct and it shouldn't have happened that way. Vikram was a wise king and hence he decided not to answer such a question. Betal is yet again impressed with king's qualities. King Vikram was a man of words, a perfectionist and a gentleman. While Betal concludes the 25th story, he decides to tell the truth to Vikram as to how he landed on the tree. He now starts narrating his own story. Betal starts narrating his story. King Vikram, now listen to this very carefully. Let me start my story from my childhood. 
my parents did not have children for a long time and so one day they decided to consult a sage the sage blessed them with his blessings my brother and i were born however the sage had one condition that he would want me and my brother to be left with him so that he can teach and train us under him my parents eventually agreed he would always treat my brother differently he made him learn vedas and mantras and taught him many things but he always mistreated me one day i came to know about his evil plans he actually wanted to sacrifice my life so that he can gain immortality my brother was later sent back to my parents and i stayed back with the sage i wanted to escape from this man i escaped and transformed myself into this ghost like person the sage knows this very well that he can never get hold of me and so he approached you very smartly you are brave strong and sensible king vikram the sage's evil plan is to kill both of us now listen to this very carefully when you take me to him he will ask you to take a bow to get his blessings do not get into his trap his plans are to kill you at the first opportunity instead you ask him to bow down and say thank you for showing bravery and that's when you will get a chance to kill him well i am ready to come with you vikram quietly listens to the entire story he does not utter even a single word upon reaching the sage's place vikram does exactly what betal advises him to do and boom he kills tantrik the sage and betal is now said to go immortal he blesses vikram and appreciates his valor bravery and wisdom goddess kali and lord shiva bless vikram they say you deserve to be the king and we bless you with knowledge and power and from today onwards you will be known as raja vikramaditya and these stories will be known to all for the next generations to come so this was the 25th story also known as vikram and betal ki 25 kahaniya we hope you like this wonderful story riddle and this wonderful series there is no end to any story it's just the place where you stop the story there is a lot more to come on basket of tales stay tuned and happy listening hope to see you all soon